Blessed Love Knockout Exclusive. Don't let the title fool you. All right, maybe y'all are thinking the title is a little bit misleading, the Mosquito Takeover. But I put the Mosquito into the title because I see that anytime I do a video about the Mosquito Indians of the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, we get a lot of good attention on YouTube. But today, we're actually talking about the Kukra Indians of Little Corn Island and the Culture Rocks in particular. Now, why the title, the Mosquito, this Mosquito Indian Takeover, is because... Before the history that we know of today of, well, the European domination and colonization of the Western world and the loss of much of the history of indigenous people, you know, the Mosquito themselves at one point and all, most nations had some little strifes and, well, the same way the Mosquito used to strife with the Cougar Indians, well, not enough to annihilate them as the European predecessors, but enough said about that, that would be for another video. So. The Culture Rocks and the Cougar Indians of Little Corn Island. So how did I come to find about this? Well, I found about it from my time and living in Little Corn Island for over 20 years. And well, in history, they know about the Cougar Indians because the old time pirates that used to visit the Corn Islands first described them. And, you know, when they described them here, they described them as uh, that time being short, stout with black hair, round faces, small eye eyebrows that fell across their eyes, flat forehead, wide noses, thick lips, and sinking jaws. They also said that they pierced their lower lips and ears and wore shells and facial ornaments. So they described this and also with other pirates that visited these islands, uh, described them as barefooted, copper colored, and naked except for a loin cloth around their waist. Now, many pirates have visited the Corn Islands and we'll see some evidence of that in this video. But the first description of these Cougar Indians come from these pirates, at least for us here when we look at the historical uh, records that, of course, can be found uh, in the museum in Bluefields. Now, the Cougars lived in what today is known as Bluefields, Pearl Lagoon, and also the Corn Islands. And, well, not much is left of them, or at least they want to try to make you think. But actually, there is a lot left, like the culture rocks. See the culture rocks there? Well, the culture rocks are a place where the indigenous Kukra Indian probably lived and had their huts and tied hammocks and would use these rocks as floors. We find a lot of evidence around here. Now this is a place in Little Corn Island that right now we're trying to help preserve. So that's what this knockout video is all about actually. A little bit of a brief history of the coast. You know they used to have the Mosquita, the former Mosquita uh, ruled by the kings and queens of uh, the Mosquita Indian who again were at one point the enemies of the Kukra Indians and probably afterward mixed with them as the more uh, emerging of uh, the two societies became as the Europeans and the Spanish took over the Pacific. Now we find a lot of these historical references in the museum in Bluefields. If you're ever in Bluefields you can go and visit the museum. These are a couple pictures of it right here and it's a really great experience if you're there for just a day to see this museum and you'll learn about this history. Now I've dug up a lot of the histories that refer to the way that the Kukra Indians lived uh, in small huts, uh, tied hammocks, they made hammocks and a lot of the rocks, it's not only place in Little Corn Island where we have these culture rocks that you find, uh, you know, but uh, these rocks are very special. Now, the Mosquito also lasted all the way up into the late 1800s, as you can see here, a king and queen. Uh, well, what are we at today? Well, Little Corn Island is a big, hot tourist destination, but still, even on Big Corn Island, they've been able to preserve some of the history. Now, this would be some of the Western pirate history, the English time of uh, settlement in the Corn Islands. They have this by the park in Corn Island. Also, this is a special place in Corn Island known as First Rock. Now, the thing about this First Rock, a lot of people say maybe it had to do with the pirates uh, marking it, but when we look at this, this also was a Kukra Indian site that at one time was on land and now is in water. Uh, and well, now we go back to Little Corn Island, now where Little Corn Island's historical preservation has not been as great as Big Corn Island. Now, I've been leading the effort to, since I've been in Little Corn Island as director of the community radio station and uh, my capacity to help preserve a lot of the historical sites. We've been working with a group of great volunteers from the United States known as the Give Volunteers who have come down and actually helped us fill out some of the long uh, lists and descriptions and data that's necessary in the actual registry for make these artifacts be uh, uh, pre uh, preserved uh, in a 
registry, a national registry of Nicaragua. Uh, now, Little Corn Island has a great rich history, but a lot of it is not told because of the tourism. It's only this beautiful image that you see. And a lot of the major historical artifacts have actually gotten away. We've been able to, as you see here, preserve some of this. This is an old little display we used to have on the radio of different pieces of uh, uh, mashing place they had. These were rolling stones that they used to roll and mash corn with. Uh, we see bigger ones here, small pirate uh, objects as well, pirate bottles, uh, and small animal heads uh, which you find around that and which are not well preserved. You know, a lot of people take these things and they sell them. Like these things, these are big things that were found in Little Corner that got away. Someone took them, sold them off, and uh, it's a private hands, and we don't know what happened to them as of yet. This is actually a huge intact, uh, maybe from the first uh, European uh, explorers uh, that was found in Little Corn Island and uh, got away. Now this is an old cannon that was also found in Little Corn Island off the waters there. This also was not preserved in the proper kind of way and has uh, been left to deteriorate. And uh, well, like I said, a lot of these are real pictures. If we not made this up, this is actual stuff that was found in Little Corn Island that got away and not preserved. And well, why this hump of rocks? You know, this hump of rocks here, the culture rocks, like I said, is it in a spot in the location, Little Corn Island, uh, where, you know, the indigenous people, the Kukur Indians used to live. And uh, around these rocks, we found a lot of artifacts and have able to preserve them through our little effort, our little historical society in Little Corn Island through the uh, Little Corn Island radio station uh, that we've been doing. And well, you would say, well, when you look at the GoFundMe, it's like my house, the director of the radio's house. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, it's not just that my house happens to be there. Uh, this house was there before I ever, you know, had the opportunity to live here or our family came to own this house. Uh, but you know, uh, unfortunately, like as the story goes, we never had enough money to buy the land where uh, these culture rocks are. And uh, the house, well, is a house that was there before us, like I mentioned, and we happen to, uh, our family owns it. My wife is a Nicaraguan, a native to the Caribbean coast, has indigenous background herself. And well, we have uh, kept these rocks preserved all the time in next door. We keep them clean. We don't uh, build around them. And we always, uh, our, our intention is to continue to do that once uh, we get more effort with our GoFundMe. And why just a hump of rocks? Well, you see, this was just a hump of rocks, but now this is in the historical registry of the National Registry of Nicaragua and is a site that is marked and will always be preserved and won't be allowed to be overdeveloped on and be kept for future study and example of the rich history of the Corn Island. So, you know, this is just a hump of rocks also, but this is also our effort here to help preserve our island and at the same time uh, help you know this become registered once the land is owned and titled into our uh, name we will make sure that this is the first site ever registered in Little Corn Island. Maybe some of you are saying hey don't paint the rocks. Well folks we didn't want to paint the rocks but when we first came to this house we found these three rocks already painted up with some graffiti and well we just painted over the graffiti with the most respectful colors that we could find and uh, well that's the culture rocks folks please help please follow the link in this uh, video this is a knockout exclusive here on our uh, channel to bring some attention to the rich history of the corn islands the caribbean coast the kukra indians and well you know we big up with the mosquito indian and are in solidarity with all of their great history and culture this was just a little history lesson and we thought we would share and uh, ask you also to please you know, follow the link and help fund the effort to preserve the culture rocks in Little Corn Island. Till next time, bless and love.